So now that we've seen how we can use the elastic properties and the warp markers on a rhythmic track, let's apply those same techniques to a vocal performance. I want to create a long vocal stutter using this double track vocal performance. You can see that both of these vocal tracks are assigned to a monophonic algorithm. So I've made a copy of the two vocal regions and I'm going to come up to the region menu and open up the elastic properties. I'm going to half the size of this region which will essentially double time this vocal performance. So the first thing I need to do is separate this region on the word me, which is just about there. Control or Command E and that will give me two independent regions. I'm going to put Pro Tools in spot mode because I want to move the second region two bars further down the timeline. There's the original current location, we'll type in a new one and you can see the region move. Now this region is the one I want to create the stutter from, so I'm going to put the track into warp view. This way you can see all of the event markers inside of that region. Now I'm going to be dragging or extending the end of this to meet the region that we just moved. But if I do it in its current state, all of the event markers will telescope together. Essentially, this will be out of time now. What I need to do is lock down the last couple of event markers. So I'm going to shift click right there and this will put a beat marker before and afterwards. So now I can extend the end of this region without affecting the other event markers. Check it out. There we go. I can even extend it all the way to the region that we've just moved. That's just extending the very last phrase. Let's take a listen. Now that stretch of the phrase is going to allow me to create the stutter that I want. Just going to make a selection, then I'm going to make sure that my grid is set to 30 second notes. Let's just zoom in a bit more, make it easier to work. And now from the edit menu, I'm going to choose separate the region on the grid with no crossfade. Perfect. Just zoom in a little bit more. Let's go back to waveform view so that I can delete the regions that will form the basis of the stutter. I'm going to delete four slices over a period of one bar. Zoom in a bit more. And now I'm going to make a one bar selection over those slices so that I can make a single region group from them. This will make it easier to move them around. I'm going to nudge it slightly to the right using the plus key. I'll extend the end of this region to meet it. And now I can simply duplicate that region three times. One, two, three. Fantastic. Let's take a listen to that. Now what I want to do is finish my editing by changing the phrasing of the last line of the chorus, Misery Loves Company. So I'm going to separate the region and then nudge the line to the right using the plus key again, just to offset the line to give it some syncopation. Let's hear that. So I'm going to be putting that track back into warp view and using the warp markers to completely change Lisa's phrasing on the word misery. So back into warp view, I'm just going to zoom in a bit, let's scroll over and I'm just going to double click or control click just to lock down some of the adjacent warp markers. There we go. So now I can move this one to the left. Again, it's snapping to the grid. Move that one to the left and we'll take a listen to that. So let me make another edit and again I'm just control clicking or double clicking before I move the warp markers just to pin down any adjacent ones so that I only move the phrase that I want to move. Wow, that is unbelievable. I love it. Love elastic time. Now you can use those same editing techniques for moving dialogue to picture or remixing or for any other type of music production. Let's back the session up and listen to our final edits.
Now in the next video, I'll show you how we can use Elastic Time to edit a multi-track drum performance.